Do you like to play video games? One of the video games I really like to play is Mario Karts. Now, if you haven't played Mario Karts before, it's a game where you get a vehicle and you have to go around a track and do your very best to win the game. Now, I'm pretty good at playing Mario Karts, but when I first started Mario Karts and some of the other games that use cars, I wasn't very good. I would take the steering wheel and I would turn too far to the left or too far to the right. And then I would end up leaving the track and I would crash my vehicle. It really didn't turn out very well. It took me a while to realize that this small instrument in my hand had a huge impact. In James chapter 3, he talks about how small things can make a huge difference. He actually tells us about a part in a ship called a rudder. It's a very small part that directs the whole ship. And he also mentions how a spark is so tiny but can create a huge fire. Then James compares these things to our words. Our tongue is very tiny, but we can use our tongue to speak and we say words that can be very encouraging but they can also be words that are very, very hurtful. So we need to be careful with our tongues because something so small makes a huge difference. King David in the Bible realized that the tongue was a very powerful instrument and he needed God's help to speak good words. In Psalm 141 verse 3, King David says, Take control of what I say, O Lord, and guard my lips. And I think we should have a similar prayer to the prayer that David had, that we should be very careful with our words and ask God to help us with that. Because our words, no matter how small they might seem, can have a huge impact. They can be very hurtful, but they can be very encouraging. So be wise with how you use your words today.